All right, just a quick little video about the current scamming situation. I'm sure if you use Marketplace or Craigslist, you've probably gotten a text, is this item still available and will you mail it? And it, it's a scam. They say they'll pay later or they'll pay once it arrives, they never pay. Or they'll say that they're gonna pay with a money order or a check or something, but then they send you too much and then you're supposed to cash it and send it back. The money order of the check is fake. It takes three to four days to get cleared in your bank, but by then you've already pulled the money. And then your negative balance. But there's another one where you get texted a, uh, they're like, I need to verify you're not a scammer, so I'm going to send you a code. This is because you can take over your Google Voice number by sending yourself a code to a different phone, and that way it'll swap your info over to the new phone. So they're trying to steal your Google account or maybe get info from you from the account. I don't know. Maybe they even hold your account ransom. I'm not stupid enough to fall for these, so I've never figured out what the answer is. But the new one is they'll post an iPhone 14 Pro Max. And it usually will say 14 Max Pro Max because they're fucking Nigerian idiots. And they can't bother to Google how to translate stuff properly. So they just punch in whatever they think they should, right? See, like, Max Pro Max. That guy's a scammer. Um, so what they're doing is I message them, and I'm like, hey, is it still available? They take forever to answer. Usually they have no profile pic, no nothing on their account. It's just a, a fake account that they set up to sell on Marketplace quickly. But you message them, is it available? Finally, they'll answer after like a day. I guess this is to like create some kind of like urgency in the buyer. And then they also are weeding out the buyers that aren't patient enough and desperate enough to wait, basically. So they finally answer, yes, it's available. And then no matter what question you ask them, they always, it, it, they'll answer in just the weirdest ways possible. You're like, is it unlocked? And they'll send you pictures of it and you're like, Yes, but is it unlocked? And they're like, yes, uh, you know, and then some crazy answer about how they, it's just some elaborate bullshit to get you sunk in, but it's like, oh, I've got it from a friend and it's been unlocked and they just keep, and they'll keep resending that same message like three or four times. But then finally you get them to like, all right, when and where can I pick it up? Where, where do I need to go? What time are you available? Whatever. And then finally they'll answer with, well, I've had problems with people bringing me counterfeit bills and I also had someone try and snatch the phone out of my hand and run away with it. So when you get to my location, you have to prepay with Apple Pay or Cash App and then I'll bring the phone down. Okay, so clearly don't fall for that one, but be on the lookout. This is the type of situation I've encountered that exact same scenario now looking for a new phone, I want to say six times. So it may be the same person with multiple accounts. It may be a group of scammers. They might not even be in the U.S. Uh, they can just give you a random address to an apartment building. You show up, you pay the cash app. They never come down with the phone, obviously. And then you can't get your money back because it's uh, they choose apps that they know there's no buyer protection or refunds or cancel payment or anything like that. So spread the word if you're looking for a new phone probably any apple device right now i would think because they're the hot item the, the new phones and stuff are about to come out so a lot of people are trying to upgrade or get rid of their old stuff and these guys are on top of the scam so thanks for watching like if you like subscribe if you want to see more and as always keep on modding